Thank you to all my lovely supporters on Patreon. To hear all the music I make for my channel and covers I do, go to the link in the description to sign up for my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hanna Horror here. We're going to do something slightly different today. We've been doing Reflections of My Horror Blu-ray collection. Now, today, let's do Reflections of My Horror Room. Now, this is what I'm thinking we'll do. We've got one wall, two walls, kind of its own little quick deal right there. Three walls, four walls. So what we'll do today is I'm going to kind of randomly on each wall look at one item and tell you my story with it. And then with this video, I would love it if you guys would comment and actually say, okay, tell me about that. Tell me about that. And I'll love to give you guys the story on where I got it, how I made it, whatever the case may be. So what do you say we start on this wall right here? So how about we talk about Big Ben? So... Big Ben right here, guys. Uh, my story with Big Ben is I got this from a website, I believe, years ago called Horror Sanctum Studios. Now, the tale of this, obviously, this is from a movie house, and I may as well show you the detail on this beauty. He looks really good. Now, the story of this is it's kind of sad. Um, I had a buddy on Facebook that had this, and I was just like, oh, my God, I love it. I love Big Ben. I love the movie house. Let me go ahead and get that, you know. So I went to the website and ordered it, and the gentleman's name was Sam McCain. And he was a really nice guy, extremely talented, just stupid talented. You know, like one of those people, I mean, look at this piece. You could tell it's made so well. And um, uh, unfortunately, like really, a few months after I got it from him, he passed away. And uh, that was really sad. So um, unfortunately, you know, you can't get this anymore, but it makes it so special and something like I could never get rid of. I would never sell it because it's, you know, it's, it's legendary, you know, that's a Sam McCain piece. So that's the story on the Big Ben. Now let's go over here. We got some records. Let's look at, um, let's see, drawing a blank. You know what? I get questions about the clown. We'll kind of count that for the wall. Now, again, as, as you guys look, you let me know what it is you want to know about. Now, the clown. The head for this clown came from Creation X. K-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-X. I hope I spelled that right. This is a Trick or Treat Studios outfit. And the head is from Creation X. Because I get asked from people a lot, where did you get your killer clown? Um, it really wasn't hard. All I did was I bought the I bought a mannequin off of eBay for like a hundred dollars, a male mannequin. Put the suit on him, took the mannequin head off, and just basically shoved this foam-filled head down onto the neck of the body, and it's worked perfectly. And it looks amazing. I mean, it's, that's a that's a full-fledged full-fledged killer clown. So that's how I did that, which is pretty cool, right? I'm proud of my killer clown. He's a, he's a mainstay in the horror room for sure. So that'll count for this wall. One thing I'll note is tonight's film uh, with my wife is going to be Firestarter. She bought this for me a long time ago, and I kept passing up on it because I don't know why it just did not seem interesting to me. But then I watched, um, then I watched uh, whatchamacallit, In Search of Darkness, and I didn't realize George C. Scott was in it. And I'm like, oh, my God, i got to see this. And uh, as you can see, Prince of Darkness wallpaper. i got to say one thing about that movie. Uh, I've been jiving with that movie. I've always been a fan of Prince of Darkness. I've got it on Laserdisc and the Blu-rays and all. It's top five Carpenter for me at this time. I uh, just think the film has some really great moments and really cool atmosphere. And obviously, it's got the king of rock and roll in there, Alice Cooper. So I've just been jiving with Prince of Darkness. I'm just a really big fan of the film. I love it. I've got the steel books of it. Whenever I can get my hands on that, I get it. All right, let's do this wall. Let's Let's do... Um, let's do, how about Roy Burns? So Roy Burns, guys, when you look at this, it looks like a, just a big, giant Roy Burns. Now, where did I get this? How did I make that happen? You know, this Roy Burns was actually um, a 2009 Gimme Animatronic Jason Voorhees remake. And uh, I just legitimately ripped the clothes off of them with scissors. 
bought a large jumpsuit off of uh, Amazon for like 20 bucks and basically just cut the back side of the outfit and then put Velcro on it and just Velcroed it up because you can't take this thing off of its base. It's an it's a animatronic with you know wires and gears and stuff, so you can't take it apart so you can dress it. So I had to literally just cut the jumpsuit to make it work. And by golly, it worked. So there it is, guys. That's a, and that's a, you know, I actually have a, I actually have a Roy Burns uh, face mask on under there. Um, and that's a part five mask. So I just made it happen. So there it is. Again, guys, if you see something specific, please let me know and I'll be glad to do it. I love doing these kinds of videos. And wall number four. Wall number four. You know what would really be fun to talk about this right here? The witch mask. Now, let me see if I can get the glare out of the way. So the witch mask. This is not Trick or Treat Studios. Anybody familiar with a guy named Sean Clark? Well, if you are, he made that and that. Well, I don't know if he made them, but he had them on his website. It was called Silver Champagne Novelties. Now, this was something back in the late 2000s, early 2010s that eventually went away. And he stopped doing it. And I got the, I literally bought the last mask he did before he shut it down because he got way too busy. This was right, this was right as the time he was booking that convention with Jamie Lee Curtis for Horror Hound. The only convention she's done, as far as I know. And uh, he messaged me and says, I'm about to be really busy. I'm shutting down the site, but if you have an order in, I will honor your order, but bear with me. It may take some time. And it did, but uh, it was worth the wait, and I have the last Silver Champagne Novelties witch mask ever. And uh, he did the skeleton, too, and it looks amazing. That is a Trick or Treat Studios pumpkin. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the pumpkin from him. But there it is. So that is Reflections of the Horror Room. Again, guys, please let me know about something you want to see, and I'll be glad, glad, glad to talk about it. For now, this is Christian Hannah Horror saying, are you a member of the Monster Squad? <laughs>